going to show you my camera setup as I walk around here just to show you how my cameras are positioned and what cameras I'm using. So let's just take a quick look. I'm super lucky the Tesla has eight dash cams. Eight dash cams built into it. Um, four are recording. I'll show you which four are always recording and the angles that they're getting. So let's take a walk around. So the Tesla has three cameras over there in the see in that little thing in the middle there's three cameras in there then there is another camera over there pointing backwards do you see this little oval here another camera and that one's pointing kind of down and forwards um, this one is not recorded to the USB drive Out of those cameras there, that middle one is the one that's actually recording. Then this side one is recording. This one is used just for self-driving. It's not actually used for recording. Then there's one in the back here. If you look over there, there's that one on the trunk. Then on the left side, there's another one pointing forward and down. Then there's this one here pointing back. This one is recording. So that's three on the front, one on the back, that's four, and then two on each side. It gives you eight cameras. We jump into my car. You'll see I've got three additional cameras. This one on the left, that one on the right and this one on the front okay so we're looking at the mounts the first one i've got mounted here i have mount, mounted in the front windscreen uh, in the front window uh, on the windshield and it's just a simple mount it's just slightly right of center but it's wide angle enough that it catches everything i've run the wire up like that and across to the right side to that camera this camera um, is mounted actually not to the window because obviously I couldn't open the window but I was able to actually wedge one of those little um, panel separators uh, that came with the camera to install I actually managed to wedge it and then zip tie it to that little to that little um, tool and it can I can position it pretty well there it gives me the ability to <coughs> gives me the ability to easily turn the camera so i usually have it pointing a little bit back that way i'm actually looking down and into the car next to me uh lets me see what people are doing as far as being on their cell phone usually um, that camera runs into this panel here down all the way under the seat and into this here and the left panel does exactly the same and into the middle here where i have this hub that has one, two, three, and a fourth space that I'm going to use eventually for the back. And you can actually see Tesla still has one free space there, as well as that's the little thumb drive that I'm using to record the four dash cams on. We just take a look at this left dash cam here. The things that I always check for when I'm setting up my dash cam are all three dash cams set up to record at the highest quality, are all the dash cams um set up to record video and not some kind of like time lapse mode because you're not going to get as high a quality um are the s is the sd card inside yes um is the sound on you can see the sound recordings on so that i can read license plates if i don't think the video is going to actually catch the li license plate um, make sure that the date and time is synced between all three so that if you're trying to match a left and front camera recording it's easy for you to find just by looking at the date that the video was created. Um, it's kind of useful that the, uh, t uh, the date and time are all in the file name so it makes it easy to match but obviously if you've made a mistake um, and the cameras are out of sync it becomes very hard to to sync them up. Make sure the GPS is on that's obviously can be really useful to know the location and then just really learning the buttons for me the most important buttons on this rove cam are this left button here if i click that 
it takes a photo and if I'm driving and I need to take record the last three minutes of what happened I just click that button there and now that's saved to a permanent folder that it will not be overwritten so get to learn those buttons so that you can press them without looking try to make sure that you've got an SD card of a really decent size as well because as you accumulate video, you, you don't want, obviously, to run out of space. Uh, even if it's sitting on loop recording, obviously, if you land up recording and saving a bunch of recordings, eventually you will fill up your, your card and it won't have space to record new recordings. Try to make sure that you use high-end SD cards that are made for surveillance. That way, they're used to being written, they're, they're designed to be written over again and again, and you'll land up with a really high quality, um, and you'll end up with your SD card not... Um, burning out. Label your cards. So every card that's in, in here uh, has a label and allows me to easily know which card goes where. And when I'm saving the files from the cards into my computer, I can easily organize them. You need to also learn your car as well as the dash cam. So learning, um, like for example, this has a very uh, steep windshield. Because the windshield is so steep, I get some reflection of this sometimes onto here. Um, I'll show some videos of that um, that I can find. But basically, I have some really bad reflection. I might eventually paint this a bit of a matte color uh, with a matte paint so I don't get so much of a reflection or put something, some kind of material over that so I don't get that reflection. So I know if it's really sunny and the sun's you know, head on for me, then I'm not going to get a great shot. So I'm always reading the license plate in that case. Um, also, I know if, I, if this is turned too far back, Oops, if this is turned too far back, I'm going to be getting just the um, this post, this post. So I really want to make sure that I am, that this is set correctly, that I'm getting the biggest bang for my buck and that it's pointing backwards. Um, obviously, if the sun's coming this way, I'm going to land up also not getting the best quality shot. So just knowing your camera, knowing your car, knowing the positions of the camera, practicing recordings, viewing the recordings that you've actually practiced and that will actually make it very easy for you to know that you're getting shots reliably. Um, I do recommend obviously wiring it, uh, hard wiring it into your fuse box of your car. Um, that's the most reliable way to do it. Um, I didn't do it. I was having some trouble with the Tesla, um, with the Tesla fuse. Tesla uses like a really like small micro fuse. I could not find a fuse tap to easily uh, do it with. So I have not done that yet, but I do plan to at some point hardwire these in. Uh, if you've done it with the Tesla before, please let me know. I'd love to know how you set up your uh, dash cam to record hardwired in your Tesla. Thank you.